many vaccines today are injected in a liquid form that has to be stored at low temperatures. This can be quite costly and requires a lot of refrigerators. Now think about the advantages of having a vaccine you can have and take in a tablet form. Now vaccinations these days often contain a form of the bacteria that doesn't cause the disease but instead primes the immune system to recognize it next time it comes around. So when you see something similar, your body knows what to do. Now live vaccines have to be kept cool all the way from the manufacturer to the point at which it is administered and injected into you. What if we could dry the bacteria and produce it in a tablet or capsule form that doesn't need to be kept cold? Now needle-free strategies like popping a pill would vastly simplify the process of vaccination and it would also be greatly beneficial to the developing countries that lack both widespread refrigeration and access to sterile needles. However, the human digestive system is designed to keep microbes out. Right from the mouth all the way to the small intestine, the digestive system presents a gauntlet of challenges aimed at protecting us from these bacteria, and it does so simply by killing it. First, the digestive enzymes found in the saliva attack the cell walls. Then, when it comes to the stomach, the corrosive acids attack the whole cell, walls and all. Finally, any microbes that still survive will meet their fate with the fat emulsifying bile acids in the small intestine. As a first line of defense against disease and infection, the digestive system is actually extremely efficient and is able to kill most microbes on the way in. So our research has been looking at ways in which we can keep friendly bacteria, such as those we'd use in the oral vaccines or even probiotics, alive long enough so that they can actually confer their beneficial effects on our system. Now we know that protection from saliva is simple. Swallow the pill or the capsule and that's one problem solved. Now we can also coat these pills in a special coating that would actually protect it from the stomach acids. The coating would then dissolve once the capsule has moved out of the stomach and into the more alkaline small intestine. But when bacteria have been dried, they lose their natural tolerance to bile, and this was proving a real hurdle in the ability to design tablets or capsules in the form of vaccines. We needed to find a way of stabilizing the bacteria in their dried form so that it could be brought back to life before the bile acids actually destroyed it. So the answer came when we made a surprising discovery. If we could rehydrate the bacteria while it was still within the capsule, before the bile actually got to it, the bacteria would survive. Now this is because when the bacteria was wet, it was naturally bile tolerant. So it was effectively a race of holding back the bile but allowing everything else into the capsule so it could reach the bacteria first. Now the solution lay with the material called bile acid absorbing resins, or BAR. Now developed in the 1960s to lower cholesterol levels, Bars such as cholestyramine have a long track record of safe oral administration in patients. So people have long been interested in how drugs come out of tablets, but we're actually interested in what goes into them. As the capsule moves into the small intestine and the enteric coating is lost, the fluid that surrounds it begins to move through the capsule. The bars slow down the movement of bile, allowing water to move in faster. By the time the bile reaches the bacteria, it is already rehydrated and can no longer be destroyed by it. The capsule can then continue to break down and release the bacteria, which then sticks to the lining of the small intestine, where it is intercepted by the immune system and triggers an immune response. As a result, the body learns how to protect itself from the disease should it get infected at a later date. So we're currently working with research scientists at the biotechnology company Procarium to define the ideal formulation of bile-absorbing materials the dried bacterial vaccine, as well as the capsule design. Our overarching aim has always been to develop an oral vaccine technology that could enable vaccines to be used globally, irrespective of supply chain requirements. And we're confident that this could be a potential solution.